Bentley, the micro pig's owners, spent the night trying to decide what to do. Bentley is four months old, has a long life ahead of him, I hope. Um, don't want him to struggle. And that's what overall makes us want to do the procedure so uh, he can get back to being his playful, lovable self. Is that your pig? Did you step on him by accident? You're dancing around, huh? Yeah, my granddaughter likes to dance too. That happens, yeah. So, not doing any better on that leg. I've done lots of these on puppies, on kittens, on dogs, cats. Um, haven't done one on a pig. You know, I, I assume we're gonna go back right back in and put a screw in that. The anesthesia is a tricky part. It's always a risk with pigs, to be honest with you. Yeah. So that's kind of, I mean, you know, it takes me usually about 40 minutes or so to do one of these elbows, you know, so hopefully it won't take any longer. Hopefully it'll be a little faster with him. But uh, it, it's just, it's a different species, you know? Yeah. So we'll figure out something for him. So you're pretty confident in being okay under the anesthesia? Yeah, I'll get uh, Melody or someone to get him back here and uh, won't harass him a whole lot till we knock him out, okay? Okay. So we're not gonna let Bentley just, uh, you know, leave here with a broken leg. I'm gonna give it my best shot. Pretty nervous about Bentley going under. Um, the anesthesia, they've made it clear that it's a, it's a pretty risky procedure. Um, so I, I don't, I'm not confident, so I'm hoping they are. Oh, buddy. Bentley the micro pig is being prepped for surgery. The fact that there's a child attached to this animal, I want to get Bentley back to her, and I'd like to get Bentley back to her with a functional leg. It's a delicate procedure, and Dr. Jeff and his team have never operated on a micro pig. This is definitely going to be my first pig catheter. This part gets a little bit scary just because pigs generally don't do very well with anesthesia. So I'm definitely going to be watching his breathing real carefully. Normally with dogs and cats, we try to place IV catheters in their legs, but pigs have really tough skin, so it's really hard to see their veins. And can you get an ear vein for fluids? Yeah, I'm going to try this one here. Yeah, small. I think okay. I'll be able to. He does have some visible veins, but they're so, so tiny, so it's definitely going to be challenging trying to get an IV catheter in. It's working. It's mm -hmm. not plumbing. Yeah. Yeah. Tape it in and start yeah, dripping. Really yeah. Operation pig ear catheter was a success. My main concerns are obviously the anesthesia and how long this is going to take. And you know, the other thing is, can we actually put a screw through that? I mean, I've never, you know, tried to put a screw in a pig's bone, let alone a growing young pig. So, I mean, there's a lot of growth plates in there, and I just don't know how soft his bones are going to be. Um, so, I guess we'll find out here in a few minutes. It's a little bit tougher skin than I'm used to. I'm seeing some joint fluid and some blood, so I'm just trying to figure out where I'm at. Pretty tiny, and it's not something I'm used to dealing with. I'm looking for a piece of bone that's broken off. So far, so good for Bentley. The bones are really soft. There's a tremendous amount of scar tissue. This is definitely difficult. Slow process. Everything's so freaking tiny. Jeff is one of the most confident veterinarians that I've ever met. One of his favorite lines is, I'm not afraid, but he's never done surgery on a pig before. Did you find the piece? Well, I can see it. I found the piece of broken bone. I'm gonna to try to reattach it to the elbow using a screw. But first, I have to drill a hole for the screw to go in. And this is the tricky part. Stressful. Dr. Jeff is trying to fix a tiny break on a tiny pig, something he's never done before. All, right, all the way through? Yep. Right. Having successfully drilled a hole, he now needs to screw the bones together. I'm trying to find the right size screw. This is really soft bone. I'm really about worried about splitting the whole thing. Look at that. I'm just trying to get this lined. So I'm trying to put the screw through. Yeah, two, yeah, a little bit more. That's good, that's good, that's good. I can feel it, okay. Take that off. 
So that may be as good as we're going to get this. The screw's through. That piece is no longer moving around. You know, I think we got pretty decent alignment. The elbow moves. Now, if he walks on this leg later, that's a success. Well, that's not bad. It always looks like there's space in there, but I feel like we got a pretty good tight impression. All right. It's, it's aligned well. Pins in, bones are in close proximity. Uh, it has good motion to it. Well, my suspicions are in a few weeks, you'll probably be using that leg again. We've got to get a split on Bentley and see how he's doing in the morning. Bentley's wide awake and looking for breakfast. Try it out. Just talk your new leg. Attitude. All right, what do you want for breakfast? I'm prepping some raw food for our pig. This is actually a canine diet, um, but it's suitable for pigs. Pigs are really good about eating anything. It's important that we get Bentley eating again after surgery, because we don't want to have to give him any more IV fluids or additional treatment. Bentley! We want to make sure that his digestive tract is waking up and we get him on the right road to recovery. Bentley, breakfast time. Come here, little pig pig. Hey, come here, little piglet. Oh, yeah. I was worried that he may have been too painful to eat, but he's doing really well. Well, Bentley is already using the leg. Uh, he does have a little cast on, but he wasn't even putting it down before, barely toe touching. And now he's, he's using it, eating like a pig and uh, enjoying life. He seems like he's doing really, really well. I'm, I'm kind of shocked how fast he's bounced back. Uh, he's so cute when he eats. I've been very worried. I know very worried sounds a little dramatic, but I mean, again, he is my pig, and he's a part of our family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The surgery was a really good success. Dr. Jeff was able to place that screw, and we put a splint on there, OK? I'm happy to know that he can come home and we can go back to our life of having Bentley there. It would be awesome, so excited. Bye, Bentley. We'll see you later. See you in a few weeks.